Her Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. I am Bema Yansi Chudan from fifth grade. It is an honor and a privilege for me to stand in front of you to share our ideas of change. We, the members of DFC at Richard Kufin Primary School, have been through this journey as an agent of changes since 2010. So now we would like to share the ideas of promoting sustainable development in schools. Rinchin Kipfen Primary School is a center of learning that believes in providing wholesome education to the students. The school invests in front in our education through multiple activities that is geared towards impacting on many fronts. Cooperative learning, being creative and analytical, developing leadership qualities, gaining confidence, being sensitive to the developmental policies and programs, and responding to the needs of the society are some out of the many. As part of the program on educating for GNH, the school has initiated many ecological activities. These activities are primarily focused towards enhancing the importance of environment in their lives. Projects include plastic-free schools, managing waste, turning waste into sports goods, waste against waste, using resources efficiently, greening and conservation practices, practices all of which are still in line. Another activity initiated as part of innovation was the rainwater harvest project, which is being successfully carried out. The project not only supplements the water shortage and assists in sanitation, health, and hygiene, but has also been able to further creativity amongst the children, as it was them, it was them who first considered the idea. In order to sustain the global concepts and practices of promoting sustainable development in schools, apart from all the issues addressed earlier and which is still being continued, this year to commemorate the 60th birth anniversary of our Fort Trukyalpo, our school came up with a Green Park project to showcase to the outside world our pristine environment and the rich diversity of flora and fauna. The Green Park that we have initiated is a small contribution on the part of the school children and teachers to ensure a healthy environment within the school premises. The avenues that we have within the park are feeding places for birds, an eco pond, rock garden, and small playgrounds for the children that have a seesaw, swing, and a monkey bar. The Green Park is also hoped to bring about other educational and learning benefits for the school children. Through the birth page, we hope that the children can enhance their knowledge on the various types of birth that frequently come and be able to identify them. Children can also know about the various types of insects and water animals that we hope ultimately make use as the home. The seesaws and the monkey bars can also contribute to the children's group development besides providing them with the much needed avenues to spend their leisure time. 